Good morning, yes sir. Why are you so loud? Always. Why? Born that way, baby. All right. Right. Anyways, as I'm sure you know, Christmas is coming soon. Woo -woo! S still loud. We'll talk about today's show after news. In news this morning, the top Capitol Hill negotiators sealed the deal yesterday on a $900 billion on a $900 billion COVID-19 economics relief package which delivers help to businesses, individuals, and provides money for vaccines. The agreement from senators was to establish a temporary $300 per week for jobless benefits, up to $600 on direct stimulus payment to adults and children, and $25 billion for rental assistance and an eviction moratorium extension. There will also be a new round of sub subsidies for businesses who were affected and money for schools. President Donald Trump is supportive in pushing the movement of direct payments. Mitch McConnell stated it is packaged with targeted policies that help struggling Americans who have already waited entirely too long. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer said, we are going to crush the virus and put money in the pockets of the American people. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, like Luke said earlier, Christmas is coming up, and Luke, what comes with Christmas? Coal. No, dude, presents, come on. Ah, should have known. Sorry. I agree. But, Luke, I bring up presents because, well, I got you a present this year. Yeah, I uh, got you one too. Really? Yeah, it's part of the show you're making me do right now. That's not the minor details. Uh, what is important is that I want my present, so let's exchange. All right, ready? Ready, grab your present. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Boom. I didn't wrap it. I didn't feel like it. I see that. All right, so we got a bag, and inside this bag is oh, God. another... I believe in you. I am not good at this kind of stuff. All right, there we go. <laughs> I got another bag, and inside, looks like one of those things you get like mints in, you know? I'm not gonna. It's not mints. All right, you know what? Let me explain my gift at least while I'm trying to tell you. Don't have to oh, okay. oh. It. it just pops off. Oh, back order on Amazon. What is yeah, I like ordered on Amazon, and then it didn't come in, right? That sounds convincing, right? Yeah, it sounds very convincing. Yeah. Uh, All right, what did I get? You got, so remember uh, back, remember back last year when we had the show about, um, us, you trying to convince me to be more like you, and we went to Dick's Sporting yeah. Goods to get that shirt. Yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, let's bring back some old memories and a shirt that you definitely don't fit, no, and there I'm you go. Not. <laughs> cool. Also, because uh, I missed that, I missed the old John, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this, I don't like, I don't like s sleeves, John. I want sleeveless John, it's funnier. You're so loud, but and, oh, there you go. There you go. I brought him back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, let's go to weather. Yeah. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 39 and a low of 31 <coughs> with sun and clouds that turn into snow with about one inch per storm or less later in the day. Tuesday will be similar to Monday with a high of 37 and a low of 24 with some snow showers and Wednesday will be sunny, sunny with some clouds with, and with some breeze and with Roughly the same temperatures as Tuesday, and I'm Grayson with your weather. Uh, Luke, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't. Oh no! He can't speak now because his mic fell off like an idiot. I dropped uh, my mic, but I got. I don't. I don't think it entirely fits. No, I think. I think it looks. I think. I think it's good. Sure, I think it, there you go. But. I think I can this is like the old days. It's good. I mean, um, I except mean, it's okay. It's terrible, but it's okay because so is my gift. I mean, so yeah, it, yeah. But that's the whole part of the show. It's just bad gifts. Well, I point. doubt my gift was the worst you've ever received. So, Luke, tell us, what is the worst worst gift you've ever received? This. Really? 
Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, I'd say the worst gift I ever got was, uh, I'm a Seahawks fan, as uh, some of you might know. And uh, one time my, uh, my uncle decided, hey, let's get him a Bills hat and say, now it's time you start liking a real team. Ooh. And uh, it was funny, yeah. And when I actually went to the Bills game like, last year when they played the Jets, I wore the Bills hat so I wouldn't get attacked by Bills fans. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, all right, what about you, John? Well, that's, 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 you're using your resource, resources. Um, my worst gift ever was, I think, probably from my dad. It was for my birthday. Uh, like two years ago and it was this really big box and I was super excited and then I cut open the box and there was a box inside of it and then I cut open that box there was a box inside of it I would think we went through um, about 14 boxes and three bags and one of those like similar to that little tin that I gave you mm -hmm. um, went through all of that and then inside of that was uh, two cents and he said I could keep the cardboard and the two cents and that was it. Uh, that <laughs> so that was. Huh, I see where you got inspiration for my gift. That's pretty much, yeah, that's how I got it. All right. Uh, <laughs> well, that was funny to say the least. Uh, let's uh, go to sports now with us again. Us. Us, us is sports. We're running out of sports people. <laughs> All right. Syracuse women's basketball beat Boston College last night, 83 to 70. Camilla Cardo Cardosa had 24 points and led the team, and Taylor Soul had 20. The Syracuse men's basketball team beat Buffalo in overtime 107 to 96. Quincy Guerriere, I just butchered that name, I'm sure, led the team with 27 points. Alan Griffin had a clutch block, I think that's the block right there. It is. That saved the game in the last second of the regulation game. Like, that's not overtime. Golf <laughs> Golfer Tiger Woods played in the PNC tournament with his 11 year old son, Charlie Woods, and he golfed an amazing game, especially considering he's an 11 year old. The performance is leading to many to believe that he will follow in the footsteps of his father to professional golf. That was cute. Yeah. Uh, speaking of cute, the New York Jets got their first win of the season, one of the biggest upsets of the year over the Los Angeles Rams. Quarterback Sam Darnold threw for 209 passing yards and a touchdown, and veteran running, veteran running back Frank Gore ran for 59 yards and a touchdown as well. Two teams just clinched a playoff spot this weekend, the Buffalo Bills and the Seattle Seahawks. The Bills also won their division for the first time in 25 years. Tonight, the Steelers look. The Steelers play the Bengals and cut that two-game losing streak at 8:15. And I'm uh, Luke and John with sports. <laughs> and now we're just gonna get back to wrap this all up. Uh, and that's pretty much it for us today. Uh, I appreciate the present, Luke, even if. Uh I forced you to give me the present. I still appreciate it. You know what? Anytime. And you, you too, I guess. Whatever. Hey, make sure you all try to get into the giving spirit this year and get a friend or somebody, a loved one, whoever, a gift or something kind or do something, you know, something just, like that. Just do something kind, all right? And yeah. from me, John, and everyone else here at The Morning Show, have a good day. Peace.